This video has been designed as a supplement to the Toilet Guardian Assembly Guide. It's intended as an overview and does not replace the written Toilet Guardian Assembly Guide. By following the written directions carefully, you will ensure a quick and easy installation of a product that is intended to give the user years of cost and time saving. Tools needed. One small Phillips head screwdriver. One medium Phillips head screwdriver. One larger flat head screwdriver. Suggested two to four quart bowl to catch the drips. Paper towel or rags to wipe the drips you missed. Protective glove, disposable or other. A small spray bottle of diluted bleach or other industrial strength disinfectant. There are eight easy steps to installation. Some steps take only a few seconds and most take just a few minutes. The order of these steps may vary depending on the particular installer and may not match exactly the installation manual. Step 1. Remove the fill line. Step 2. Install the battery and assemble the MCU. Step 3. Attach the L connector to the MCU. Step 4. Attach the L connector with the MCU to the fill valve. Step 5. Assemble and install the bowl sensor. Step 6. Assemble and install the tank sensor. Step 7. Attach the sensor cables. Step 8. Check your installation. Shut off the water at the valve on the wall. Most of the time, this is sufficient to stop the water flow to the toilet. However, whenever working with water valves inside a building, it's always a good idea to shut off the water at the main, and you should always know where the main valve is located. Flush the toilet to remove most of the water from the tank. Remove the water supply line from the fill valve. Remove the top cap. Remove the knob in the bottom cover. They're both loose and should remove easily. Install the battery as directed in the assembly guide. Replace the bottom cover and attach using two smaller Phillips head screws. Do not over tighten. Replace the knob. Do not force the knob on as it is keyed and will only fit on one way. Secure the knob by attaching the single, medium-sized Phillips head screw. Do not over tighten. Please note that the line on the bottom cap is at the front of the unit. Attach the L connector tube as shown here. To help ensure correct installation, only the short side of the connector will fit on the main control unit. Now's a good time to put on the top cap. Note, the line on the knob and bottom cover are matched. The Toilet Guardian main control unit is now completely assembled and it's ready to be installed on the toilet. Please note, that here the valve is in the open position and that the line on the bottom cap and the line on the knob are aligned. Attach the L connector and the MCU main control unit. This should only require hand tightening. Attach the water supply line to the toilet guardian. If you have not already done so, turn the water back on. Hold the bowl sensor in one hand and bend the cable back over the top, holding it in place over the top of the sensor. Use a finger to pull the cord gently back against the upper inside corner of the sensor. Push the flat bracket firmly into the sensor. Then push the connector in down through the top of the bracket 
and pull it all the way through. The bowl sensor is now ready to be installed on the toilet. Remove the toilet seat. Thread the sensor data cable through the bolt hole and pull the cable firmly down and towards the front. Replace the toilet seat and the corresponding bolts. Slide the cable guide tube onto the seat bolt. Before attaching the nuts, consult the assembly guide. When sliding the guide tube onto the seat bolt, the slot of the tube must face the front of the bowl. This prevents the data cable from being crimped. Do not tighten completely. Add a spacer to even the seat when using the bolt sensor. Tighten the bolts and replace the covers. You may need to use a wrench to tighten the nuts. Attach the tank sensor to the tank sensor bracket as shown. Positioning of the sensor on the bracket will be completed later. Remove the tank cover. The tank may or may not have water at this point. Install the tank sensor by simply sliding the tank sensor onto the back of the tank and letting the cable hang down behind the toilet. Make sure the tank sensor does not interfere with the flapper or with the fill valve. If you have not done so already, turn the water back on and refill the tank to the normal level, which should be approximately one inch below the top of the fill tube. You may need to adjust your fill valve at this time. When the tank has stopped filling, adjust the tank sensor so that the water line mark is level with the water in the tank. Attach the sensor cables from the sensors into the dual connector cable and plug the dual connector cable into the back of the Toilet Guardian. Now it's time to check your installation. Begin by ensuring that the valve is in the open position. Initiate the system by pushing both buttons at the same time. The two button test. The system will test all the icons. Close the valve. The test is complete when all icons and the number 9 are visible. Icons shown may differ from your model. Consult your user manual for icon meanings. Push the program button and the turn knob to the open position. The Toilet Guardian is now ready to be used. Let's recap. Remove the fill line. Install the battery and assemble the MCU. Attach the L connector to the MCU. Attach the L connector with the MCU to the fill valve. Assemble and install the bowl sensor. Assemble and install the tank sensor. Step 7. Attach the sensor cables. Check your installation. Please consult a Toilet Guardian assembly guide for more complete details on installing and using the Toilet Guardian.
For more information, visit us online at aquaone.com or give us a call at 714-898-7016.